in this section we will talk about rebates what are rebates it's more or less like a discount but you don't give it immediately right off the transaction but you start accumulating these values and give it out at a predetermined time example let's take a real time example from say a supermarket right like a safeway or even costco you know the concept of loyalty points right rewards points or loyalty points these are things that we see in many retail scenarios like a credit card you now you are a retail customer using a credit card that a bank like city bank is giving right and the more you spend the more you accumulate these reward points and they'll give you a bunch of choices you can redeem them for cash you can redeem them for products you can redeem them for vouchers many different ways of redeeming them so let's say on january 1st you went to the supermarket and purchased 100 dollars worth of goods and this particular supermarket gives you 3% loyalty points so our 3% out of 100 is 3 dollars or 3 points let's say 1 point is 1 dollar right so in the context of a supermarket they just say points or um, anything other than money you know they might have their own reasons for that but essentially it's money right but it's not your money yet isn't it it's not your money maybe it becomes money after 6 months right or maybe it becomes money once you hit a certain goal say $1000 of purchases every year right so different ways of accumulating so the way we accumulate these points is similar in most cases it doesn't matter if it's a supermarket or credit card but the way you redeem them could be different based on the model right so on feb 1st another order say $30 3% is this is probably 0.9 right and over the course of the year you keep accumulating these loyalty points right based on the orders that you place so order 3 order 4 order 5 and say at the end of the year you accumulate or you do a sales of $2000 right and then the loyalty points that you have accumulated is 60 now the way we accumulate these points or money equivalent need not always be uniform meaning if for example safeway is selling their own bread as opposed to let's say another company's bread if they want to promote their own products they might give more discount right meaning local bread could be given more discount organic bread need not have discount and when i'm saying discount it's not really discount it did. when you buy for 5 dollars of bread let's say safe waste bread and i'm saying 10% is the rebate or loyalty points that is accumulated the point 5 is not really dollars right or is not really given right off your bill or invoice you still have to pay 5 dollars but you accumulate 0.5 dollars in your kitty right so the loyalty points is more like a kitty or a piggy bank you keep accumulating the company keeps track of that and the point on this slide being these percentages vary based on any variety of parameters if you are a gold customer you might get a better discount if you are buying a certain kind of product let's say local produce you might get more loyalty points if you are let's say a, a farm and you sell produce and and for selling them to certain types of supermarkets you might want to give them reward points also like a farm selling to safeway might give reward points to safeway for purchasing it from their farm right it's the same chain it's not just retail where reward points are there even b2b has reward points and sometimes you can redeem these loyalty points 
after you hit a certain target, let's say you can only redeem after $30. Or sometimes there are no restrictions. You can redeem them anytime. Like for example, you might have a card, a credit card, where irrespective of how many points you have accumulated, you can use them to redeem against a purchase that you made. They might not give you in cash, but can redeem against a purchase that you made. So a purchase of $10 that you made for, let's say, a piece of bread. A purchase of $10 that you made, for example, like for a pound of oranges. An entry is made on your credit card statement, $10, right? Now, if you have accumulated $10 worth of points, loyalty points, you can use those loyalty points to redeem the sale of oranges, right? If that is, if the card issuer allows it. So the point being, you can redeem loyalty points at any given point in time. That's one possibility. Or you can redeem them at the end of your period. It could be end of the year or it could be the end of a quarter. It could be end of, say, half yearly. Or it could be after you've achieved a certain target. So either way, it's fine. It depends on how you are allowed to redeem your loyalty points. In terms of SAP, when you make a sale or when you purchase $30 and the company puts aside 3% of the sale into a separate account, the concept is called accrual. This is a term that you have to remember, accrual. In the context of rebates, accrual meaning means that the company will set aside a certain amount of money into a separate account. And that process is called accrual. Are the accruals happening or do you see accruals happening for the sales order or invoice? What's the amount that has been accrued for this invoice? You know, when you hear those terms, you have to understand that for every transaction where rebates are relevant, amount keeps accruing. And the total that has been accrued so far is called as the accrued amount. At any given point in time, what's the total accrued amount? The individual act is called the accrual that happens per transaction and the total that has been accrued is called the accrued amount. The key word is accrual. And when you go settle your amount against a particular transaction or for money, it's called as partial settlement if you do it in the middle of that period or before the target. And when the final settlement is ready, meaning the fiscal year end has happened or the quarter end has happened, depending on the agreement, when you settle the amount, it's called final settlement. Partial settlement, if you are trying to settle the rebate amount through the middle of your target, the target could be period, the target could be a specific sales target amount, meaning, you know, if you hit $100, you can accrue, irrespective of your time period. That's also an example. So, two types of settlement, partial, final. And the total sales that you've performed so far is called the sales volume. And sometimes the company allows you to accrue a certain amount based on certain dates or certain types of transactions. For example, in a supermarket, this might not happen very often, but let's say if you come to my shop on Thanksgiving and purchase, let's say, $100, for which you might accrue at 3%, let's say $3, will give you a special $10 additional bonus points. Right? That is called as a manual accrual. Another example is when you buy, another example is when you apply for a new credit card, let's say it's an airline's credit card, they'll give you, say, 50,000 miles bonus. Right? So, the act is applying for a new credit card. That act triggers a certain loyalty rewards. In this case, 50,000 bonus miles. And bonus is given based on a variety of parameters. It's not just applying for a new card, right? Shopping on Thanksgiving, example of a bonus. Or in some cases, in B2B, for example, imagine a scenario. 
there are there's there's the supermarket right safeway and then they're selling a product let's say almonds and there are so many different companies selling these almonds right all these companies selling different brands of almonds to differentiate some of these companies will say okay this month in the almonds section where they sell almonds in that supermarket if you put my company's banner or some kind of a placard that's that visually you know shows the customer this particular brand of almonds i'll give you dollar 5000 that's an example of a reward right so in this case safeway is the customer and this is the vendor so think of sap from this perspective and the act of placing this banner or placard for one month or one day is something that the sales rep from this company might come and verify or they might have to take a picture and send it to the vendor. And that event triggers a manual accrual. It's not part of the regular sale. It's, it's a different event. right? Same thing with um, car sales. If you sell at least 100 cars in one month, of a particular model this is the deal that the car company say Honda might give to the dealer if you sell 100 cars of a particular brand on top of your regular accruals you get let's say fifty thousand dollars as an additional bonus that's called as a manual accrual so this is something that happens irrespective of the typical accruals that happen like for every order so we have seen so many different terms, right? Accrual. So this is called as an accrual. And this is the accrued amount. This is a manual accrual. And this is the sales volume. And sometimes you might want to settle as far as we have loyalty points. Like for example, at this point we have 30 loyalty points. Let's settle it. So that is called as a partial settlement. Right? And there and at the end of the year or end of your sales volume target, you can go for a final settlement, right? So how many terms are we seeing here? Five different terms. Accrual, accrued amount, sales volume, manual accrual, partial settlement, final settlement. So these are the key terms that will be going again and again and again. So understand these terms. Once you understand what these terms are, then rebate is going to be pretty easy. I want to give you one more example before we really talk about doing rebates in SAP. Why do companies do rebates? Just remember this carrot. You dangle a carrot in front of the donkey, in front of the animal, for the animal to keep moving, right? Rebates are very similar to that. Every sale is basically incentivized. That's what a rebate is. What do I get if I do this purchase from you? Oh, you get 3% rebate on top of your regular discounts. And the more you buy, the more you get incentive. So that is based on scales. If you buy $100,000 worth of goods from me, you get a rebate of 2%. If you go beyond $100,000, you get 3%. Beyond 150, you might get 4%. So that's incentivizing the customer's sale. Basically saying, more you buy, more you get this rebate. And that motivates the customer to buy more from you because he's already locked down to a specific target, right? And it increases customer loyalty because, oh, I've gone so far in sales from with your company. The next bracket that I'm going to get is 3%, from, which is a jump from 2%. So I'll keep buying. At that point, if they switch their vendors, they might not get that advantage, right? And it also results in a more predictable sales pattern because, because the customer is committed to get this reward points, he'll be more inclined to buy more from you because the slab has increased already. Now if they shift, shift to another customer, they'll not get, they'll have to start all the way from 1% or 2%. Right? And that results in a predictable sales path. And 
that has a lot of implications down the line because when you have a predictable sales pattern you have a predictable marketing pattern so on and so forth so these are the business reasons why rebates are used to start with so in the next chapter we'll start creating a rebate in sap we'll use the standard configuration and then see an example of how these accruals happen how to do a partial settlement final settlement manual accrual all the key terms five or six different key terms that we have learned